At CBF, we know that for you to change your body, you need to change your mind. Exercise and eating healthy is only part of the plan. We care about our members as we care about our family because our members become our family. It is not about competition, but support. It is not about being the strongest or the fastest, but about you defeating your negative self. It is about working together and making the task challenging and have fun. By the end, what matters is not how hard the session was, but that you take control of your mind so you can take control of your body. My name is Sandro Torres, and I'm happy you are part of our family. Welcome to Custom Body Fitness. Welcome everybody with your health coach, Sandro Torres. Today, we're gonna be talking about how you can stay in shape for your whole life, how you can stay toned. Now, be aware, before you start listening to this talk, I want to mention that this uh, talk is about sus sustainability. It's about you being in shape and tone for your whole life. This is not about something that can be achieved by you changing your life. And what I mean with that is, for example, there is many influencers out there they pose a very, very good pictures where they come very toned, very muscular, and they're in the great shape ever. So those pictures to begin with, or videos or so on, they do a lot of editing. So they find the right spot, they find the right lightning, and so on. While many of these influencers, so these people, they are in shape, they are in shape, they put that extra stuff in their videos, also, they have to go into a diet and they have to pump their body before getting into these uh, pictures, uh, before posing for these pictures or these videos. They have to get uh, tan and so on. The same with the, with the same when they, with the bodybuilders. All these people achieve that, but they're only achieving for the show. They only achieve it for to, for them to compete or for them to post for these videos. But then they lose it, they lose it, probably not all, but they lose some of that tone, they lose some of that um, figure of their body because they can continue with their diet because it's not sustainable. That's the first thing. Second, um, they, they probably pump some iron before they start showing, uh, they start doing the show, they start recording the video, they start taking that photo shoot or so on. So that palm is not gonna be there forever. It's just for a, a couple hours before it's gone. Another thing that you have to keep in mind that I already mentioned is that they do edit these pictures, these videos and so on, and it's not real. So when I'm talking about that, I'm talking about you hitting a good percentage of fat where you can be tone for life and you don't have to worry about going to the stream to something that is not mentally and physically healthy anymore. So let's begin with the first point. The first thing that you have to keep in mind is for men, you have to be between 9 and 12% body fat for you to be toned, show your abs, and be in shape. For women, you need to be between 18% to 22% body fat for you to be toned and be in shape. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you are below that, like I mentioned before, it is possible. There is people, I have met people there um, in the 6% body fat for men, and I have met ladies there in the 13, 12% body fat. Now, yes, some of the genetics have to do with it for some people, but for the majority of us, it's um if you plan to hit that honestly then it doesn't become healthy because you have to diet and that diet is not sustainable and that's when it becomes mentally um unhealthy because then you have to weigh your 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 food you have to count the uh, calories that you eating you have to know how many what types of nutrients you're eating, and so on. And that takes a lot of energy 
and then it's a lot of stress. And once again, I don't know about you, but personally, I'm not willing to do that because I know it's not sustainable. So once again, if you want to be in shape for life and don't lose that tone and be there forever, for example, I I am at 11% body fat and I've been there since I started exercising. That's the first thing. Be on the, for women, between the 18 and the 22 body fat percent. For men, be between the 9 and the 12 percent body fat. Now, how can you get there? Okay, first, don't diet. Start eating healthy. Learn about eating healthy. Learn about the basic things that you need to do to eat healthy. The first thing that you need to do is get all the processed food. All the ultra processed food should be out of your house and out of your diet because it's not good for you. It's not made for you to eat. It's made for people to profit and for you to get sick. Then the second thing is only eat whole foods. And the next thing is eat organic. And then next thing is eat what your body can digest. There are some things that are healthy that your body can digest. And the only way you, you know what are those foods is by you trying the things that inflammate your stomach and the ones that take your energy and so on. Also, there is doctors, uh, there is people, they do, uh, they do diet tests that can help you to start discontinue those foods that are not good for you. Or you can do it on your own by by feeling how your body is reacting to certain foods. So that's the first thing I recommend. Don't diet, start eating healthier, learn how to eat healthy, make it a habit, eat on schedule, and so on. I have other videos that I talk about how you can start eating healthy and the steps that I follow for me to stay healthy on my eating and I recommend other things for other people. They can eat things that I do eat, such as oatmeal, for example. There is people that can't eat oatmeal because their stomach starts in inflammating. Uh, so I recommend other things for them to try other things. But I told you the I just told you the basics about your diet. Second thing is exercise as a routine. Don't go out there and try to exercise five times, six times a week, and try to get to your goal, and then completely stop. Make it a habit. Exercise three times, four times a week, five times a week, but make sure it's something that you're gonna do for life. Whatever that you're doing, make sure it's a good plan, make sure it's a good program, make sure you work all the big muscle groups, make sure it helps you to tone your body, and also to be healthy and have the strength to do anything out out there so but make it a habit don't just exercise because you want to get toned and put all in and then forget about it and go all in and then start missing your sessions here and then and so on make it a habit whatever it is three times a week make it for life the next thing is do cardio as a hobby it's going to be something that you enjoy. If it's cycling, get out there, get your bike, go out there and enjoy it. But make it, make it something that you like, that you want to do, that you enjoy once again. If you're hiking, go hiking. If you're running, go running. If you walk, go for a walk. Take your dogs for a walk. If you like to swim, whatever it is, if you like to jump the rope, whatever it is, make it a habit. Make it something that you're going to do every time and it should be a hobby as well it should be something that you are looking forward to do on your own time find that and make sure you're going to do it once again for life next thing is don't compare yourself once again with these influencers they're not real with this in mind i i, I don't have anything against the people, they do exercise and they have a nice body and they look toned and they are toned and they put in the effort to do that. And I absolutely don't have anything against for the people who actually keep that for life and for the people who do it for a living. What I do don't like is their lying. They're trying to sell something that is not obtainable. It's for you to get into, do this in five weeks, to do, do this in three months and so on, you're gonna get done. And then 
but the way you eating you don't have to get rid of this you don't have to get rid of that you just need to drink this and whatever and that's not true so the first thing i recommend is make sure you spot the lies make sure you don't get persuaded for something that is impossible to have for life you can probably hit that goal as a bodybuilder for example if you're a natural bodybuilder of course if you want to be one of those stereo guys that take um steroids and they go compete uh it's it's different you're putting your health into risk but this talk is not about that this talk is about you being in shape for life but let's say if you those bodybuilders natural bodybuilders they get out there and they compete yeah they're in great shape but once again only for that moment when they're competing when they're showing but then then later they lose some of that tone they lose some of that fitness levels and so on so what I recommend is make sure you start uh, spotting those lies when people tell you that you can achieve that and keep it for life because once again, it's not possible when you have to die hard, when you have to eat a specific thing because it's not something sustainable and when you have to t uh, time yourself, when you have to go pump or iron to show those muscles, when you have to drop yourself oil and things like that, um, it's not something that you're going to be doing every day and for life. Just don't compare yourself to that people. They actually selling you something. So they try to look at the best they can so they can sell it. But when you see them in real life, when you see them in every day, uh, in their everyday life, they're not going to have that body because also they don't have that light. They don't have the, that post they don't have that edited in the video and you're going to see that the person is not doesn't look like it's looking in the video so in the picture so don't compare yourself with that compare yourself only with yourself Come see where you are and see how your body's progressing and changing and how you gaining that tone how you getting in shape how the strength that you gaining the stamina that you gaining how fast the resistance and so on you can start tracking that and see the difference. And then as you progressing, continue progressing so you don't lose that tone, you don't lose that fitness. And actually you become more fit every time you set different goals. And the last thing is going to be be grounded on your values. Uh, I, I'm talking about myself. I'm very grounded about my, my values. I care about my health. I tell many people that I don't like fake things. For example, I don't like fake eyelashes. I don't like steroids because they're fake. I don't like surgeries because they're not real. All that is actually not the person. It's not improving the person's life. It's not helping and so on. It's not real. I don't like um, the filters on, on videos. I don't like filters on, on, on pictures and things like that on myself because that's not me. I like to present this myself the way I am. And that's my values. That's what I'm grounded about. And once again, my health is so important. Um, I like to be realistic and I care about me, my health. And those are my va values and that's why I'm so grounded. So if your values are similar, you can care about your health and how real you are. And the people are gonna like you for who you are and because of the effort that you put in, your body is going to show the effort that you put in naturally instead of doing a surgery or instead of taking a steroids or things like that. If your values are similar, so that I recommend you stay grounded to your values. If they're not and your values are surgery, steroids, uh, fake um, filters and editing and things like that. So once again, this talk is not for you, um, nothing against you. But this video is only for the people who are really want to be in shape for life by following those steps. If you like it, please sh share it. Put it, put some thumbs up right there. And I really appreciate you with me. This is your health coach, Sandro Torres, says bye for now. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed the content offered here, then I know you will enjoy these books. These are great tools to lead you to successful weight loss, better health, and greater happiness.